Hello and welcome to another thrift with me. So we are currently on a road trip. We're on our way home and we've stopped by the beach for a couple of days. So I decided to visit one of my regular haunts. I've been here several times thrifting when we've been on vacation before and I've always enjoyed it. I've always found some really good stuff. So yeah, let's pop inside and see what we can find. I used to grab that, but not anymore. Now you can find it in, like, I guess, like Ross and stuff like that now. They could flag. They usually do well. Oh, it's got a little bit of pillow. I'll leave that one. Wow. 
This thing is amazing. Postmark which is two dollars. <sighs> do I or do I not? Can't help myself. <laughs> Urban Outfitters piece. I wonder if it would be well because the novelty. I'm gonna trust my instincts on that, I think. For two bucks. Saks Fifth Avenue threads. Again, not super familiar. Some dresses. Kind of a cool vintage piece, but a lot of killing. Okay. Some shoes. Just look here. Friend. Interesting. Right. I think we're almost ready to call it a day. I think I'll check one more area and then it's time to check out. Oh my god. 
gosh, what a beautiful sweater. Two dollars. Absolutely. It's vintage, but it's vintage as well. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's about two dollars. I think size is missing. I don't want to deal with that. Oh my gosh, it's a cool jacket as well, vintage one, 10 bucks there. Oh, strawberries, that kind of caught my eye, loft. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Four dollars though. Hmm, probably not for loft. Alright, let's see what we can find in dresses too. Another great conundrum as always, do you want to get this? for four dollars even though i don't often do that well with it because it retails so high hmm. i don't know what would you do all right, you guys, that ended up being a fantastic stop. I was only in there about 30 minutes um, and I got enough that I'm going to have to worry about fitting it all in the car on the way home, probably under the kids' feet and all sorts, but it was definitely worth stopping by. Um, found some wonderful items and all the clothing and shoes were half price, like 50% off. So as you can imagine, I was in my element. So I'm going to head home now for the rest of this road trip. And then when I get there, I'm going to give you guys a good old fashioned haul and show you exactly what I found all right guys so here is the whole portion um let me show you exactly what i found so as you can see here my receipt i paid exactly 80 dollars 50 for all of the items that you see here i haven't worked out my average cost of goods but if i do i'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can see exactly what each item roughly cost me like on average um so let's just dive in so first item um Ellie or Ely Tahari. So here's my thing. I've mentioned in videos before that I wouldn't pick this up anymore, but it gets me every time. And here's why. This stuff retails so high. Um, I left the price tags on these so you could see exactly what I paid for each piece even though I'm going to share the average, you know what I'm saying? So everything was 50% off. So this dress was $4. Like I said, this would have retailed incredibly high um, and it's beautiful. It's like a coral orange um, and it's just kind of like a sheath dress. And I think it's a pretty decent size as well. And it's got this beautiful exposed zipper detail too. Yeah, it's size 10, so it's a pretty decent size. And I decided just to take a chance on it since it's a nice colorful piece for spring. Okay, next piece is beautiful. 100% silk, gorgeous like gingham type plaid, um, red and white dress. W by Worth, this again retails really quite high. Unfortunately, the size tag is gone, so I'm gonna have to measure it. That is such a shame, but it does seem to be a slightly larger piece. And this piece at 50% off would have been $3. So you cannot go wrong. <laughs> absolute bargain really and I do think because of the print and uh, once I measure it because of the slightly bigger size that I do think this piece will do quite well for spring and summer too okay next is a size 18 Joseph Ribkoff piece so a nice plus size that should do quite well um, and it is a faux wrap black dress it does have the tie like they can go around the back or the waist back here too I do fairly well with this brand overall let me find that price tag aha found you um okay yes yeah, so two dollars two dollars is what i would have paid for this joseph ribkoff dress you just can't go wrong really um so yeah <laughs> pick it up what can i say okay next this is a piece i paid more than i usually would have for honestly 
bit of a frenzy so just grabbing the stuff and a 50 percent off you know i mean it's fine everything evens out at the end of the day i've got two dollars into the joseph ribkoff so if this is a little bit more that's no problem so ten dollars originally so i paid five um soft surroundings but it is a dress size large it is a dress beautifully soft it is a sort of mock turtleneck uh, style neck and it does have kind of like a shark bite type hem and um, so with it being a dress i do think that'll do quite nicely next i ummed an ard on this piece it was four dollars but i decided to go for it it's an extra large 100% wool and it's exclusive hand knit for Lauren Ralph Lauren so I don't usually pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren um just because it's sort of like it's not their higher end version but I really like this piece there's a few fuzzies that I'll have to pull off here and they're just like teeny tiny little uh little bits of pilling um but overall gorgeous piece just a belted cream like I said 100% wool cardigan in this gorgeous cable knit with this sort of shawl neckline kind of out of season granted um um, but still just a beautiful piece for four dollars okay next piece i grabbed just based on style kind of want to keep it not gonna lie it's such a lovely like structured uh, kind of thick style sweater um, and it has a really nice sort of mock turtleneck neckline as well it is clara sun Wu, which does okay for me it does seem to have a little bit of a following does better for me on ebay than it does on poshmark but again just a beautiful staple piece for a wardrobe oh and before i forget this piece was two dollars okay next piece is eileen fisher this is a petite medium i do not pick up all eileen fisher necessarily but if it is in good condition and this one is 100 percent merino wool beautiful ribbed uh, open front sweater or cardigan and it would have cost me three dollars so because of the fabric content you know the 100 percent merino wool and the fact that it's a nice um sort of green color and it has the ribbed knit i decided to give this one a try this i picked up just because it's amazing <laughs> what can i say uh paid four dollars for this i don't know anything about the brand classic creations i'm not sure if this is an older piece like what i could consider vintage but look at it <laughs> like it's not just sequins all over there's like stars and flower like oh my god and this thing is so heavy I love it. What can I say? I couldn't leave it behind for four dollars. Just couldn't do it. Have to have it in my closet. So yeah, I will keep you updated on exactly how this piece does. I'm gonna have some fun keywords for this though, I think. All right, next piece. Um just bought it on a bit of a whim, really. I think it was, yeah, two dollars. Urban outfitters, um, size large, but I just really like the boxy fit Hawaiian shirt. Actually kind of want to keep this for myself to wear with like you know high-waisted uh, denim shorts in the summer and spring. I don't know, we'll see um but overall i think that the style itself will sell it even if it's just for sort of 18 dollars or so all right next i have two dresses that are extremely similar one is sort of a one shoulder piece um, and the brand is the same and as you can see the print is basically the same it's got this like black lace overlay over um like a nude dress and this is the brand i looked it up um some comps real quick and because i'd kind of heard of it and they seem to be doing okay and um, it was worth taking a chance on for me this particular one cost me $4 and then this one here actually has kind of like a modest high neckline with a really beautiful cut out detail. This one was five dollars instead of four which is fine and then what i really liked about this was the hemline as well i thought that that was just a really beautiful detail again same brand there okay we have one more eileen fisher piece this is an extra small but a really nice kind of taupe um color a very sort of chunky yet open knit just think it's a very classic piece again aiming for sort of 25 or so for that next piece vintage carlisle for sure angora rabbit hair blend size small beautiful kind of shawl neck again um very very sort of fuzzy fluffy sweater but in good condition not much in the way of pilling and then these really nice kind of tapered sleeves um i just think it's a lovely sort of staple again um nice brand retails high it is an older piece but i think it's a very classic style oh and that piece was three dollars okay this piece was a little bit of a fail unfortunately i don't do a lot of anthropology anymore but i liked this piece um i like the tassel detail and all of this is embroidered it's really really gorgeous unfortunately one of the tassels has been pulled off of here so i think that's a super easy fix honestly i can sew that back on and disclose it it's not difficult um, and the piece only cost me two dollars again in that 50 percent off sale uh one september being usually an anthropology piece i will check the rn number of course but I, I did really really like this detail so i went ahead and picked it up because of that but if i'd have seen that it was damaged i probably would have left it behind one other anthropology piece again 
pretty picky with it at this point. This is postmark. Um, obviously, it looks like a little postmark. Um, and it is a size small. Just a really classic, very classic for like their style, blue and white sort of chunky knit. And then the sleeves are sort of like an open lace crochet style detail. Again, this piece was $2 as well. Um, I probably wouldn't have paid the $4 for it because I'm only hoping to get sort of 15 to 18 for it. But definitely decent filler for my closet. And I like a bit of anthropology in there because I can share it to the party and things like that and it's still one of the brands that is searched for the most anything that'll lead people to my closet <laughs> okay we have vineyard vine size medium just a very classic hot pink um polo shirt i picked this up because honestly when it was on the hanger it was like crispy like it had all the fold lines on it still so i don't think anybody necessarily wore it and this cost me three dollars hopefully go for around 20 to 25 these um are just sort of like an educated guess really so very much vintage running shorts they're actually called what's that run sports um are purple as you can see but they are very very high rise and they do cut upwards on the leg these are all things that i will um be pointing out in the listing of the title and they have this open slit so all of these things are actually really good signs for this particular piece and the last ones i sold that again were no particular brand but they were just this style went for about 35 and i'll definitely be cross posting these onto etsy and um, because that is where they tend to do the best for me Oh, and those were $2. Okay, another vintage piece here. This piece cost me $2 as well, and I just loved the style and the print. It's so so 80s <laughs> here is the tag again know nothing about the brand but i just really liked it so it's hot pink with black triangles like i said could not be more 80s um and i'll probably i may style it like with not a knot in the front or i may just button it up i'm not sure but i think that the style itself will sell it very well and it's pleated at the back which is kind of cool all right clara sun woo again um again i like to sell this brand it moves for me especially on ebay and um, probably no more than sort of 20 to 25 but this one has a very nice sort of colorway and print with a ruffle detail down the front and this one cost me two dollars as well I have a very basic piece here just a black long sleeve scoop neck t-shirt standard james purse this is a good brand um size two is vanity sizing you can go on the website to compare and find out like the other sizing for when you list it and again two dollars so that one should do probably around 18 to 25 all right we have a bowden sweater this actually is so soft that i thought it was going to be a really fun fabric content and it turns out it's just cotton but you know what that's fine we're rolling with it um, it's a size six beautiful color block so this is like a turquoise kind of aqua color with a navy blue accent at the sides and this piece only cost me two dollars as well Bowden does well for me it's very sort of bread and butter for me so hopefully around 18 to 20 on that um, and then I have found this before Hilda limited made in Iceland 100% pure wool um, and I still have it sitting in my closet right now and in my eBay store I have my other vest it's a men's I think that is up for maybe around 80 or so and it's had quite a lot of interest just hasn't sold yet so for the price of three dollars I decided to grab this one and um, just to give it another try basically like i said the other one i think is men's and this one is obviously women's and it's got a bit more of a pattern to it as well i do think this one will do okay a um, little bit of condition issue just a little mark and one button missing um but i'll just disclose that this is vintage at the end of the day it'll be fine all right and a couple of pairs of shoes real quick so karen millen England um these are pretty expensive as far as I know they're a pretty cool style definitely a little bit different uh, marked on the button and whatnot leather soles which is always a good sign of quality uh unfortunately I will have to work on getting the price off of the soles but again all shoes were 50% off so four dollars for those we have a very cool pair of Mark Fisher black leather pumps with an amazing block heel again leather soles again have to work on getting <laughs> The price is off. I hate when they do that, but that's fine. It's no problem at all. Um, and again, they have quite minimal wear, so I think that they will do quite nice because of the style. We have a pair of Donald J. Pliner. I picked them up basically just because of the style i thought that they were really kind of cool very kind of like boho um style into them and they have all these amazing metallic colors running through them kind of give me an 80s vibe i figured i would just give them a try and those were three dollars all right and the last two so stuart weitzman um again a good shoe brand i paid three dollars for these leather soles again as you can see just a snake print leather um sort of peep toe pump if you like sling back with a metallic detail to it and the last pair of shoes is this pair of black leather uh ralph lauren again not lauren ralph lauren just plain old ralph lauren which is higher end um 
loafers, penny loafers, I suppose you could say. Again, we have our leather soles and $2.50 is what I paid for those. All right, so now that I have showed you everything that I have bought, it's time to go get listing. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like thrifty content, then please do think about coming back and hanging out some more by hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you're on the hunt for a very friendly Facebook group, then don't forget to check out our group that is linked down below called Thrift Nice. We are a lovely bunch of people who are always happy to answer your questions and just get to know other people in the reseller community, really. And if you're on the hunt for any fun reseller themed merch, then I will pop my Teespring link down below and you're welcome to go and check it out as well. I have shirts, tote bags, fanny packs, face masks, everything you could possibly need for thrifting right now. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.